Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Antimatic Chemistry. How are you all doing today? I'm sorry I was laughing at my character. Uh, I'm doing fine. Um, it's been a while, however I've been really busy with schoolwork, so here we are. Um, in today's episode I set up this, which I will explain uh, in a bit what, what it's for, but basically I want to upgrade our power. Uh, also, I want to turn these back on because I had to activate, uh, deactivate them. Uh, let me do this. Uh, yeah, I basically want a bunch of dimensional shard or uh, dimensional shard because they're used in everything, uh, at least late game everything, uh, especially, well, actually mainly draconium. So, and draconium is used everywhere. So I really want to find a way to get them uh, in, a massive, in massive quantities really fast and uh, just by and just hopping into this dimension, the ID 4 or 3 one I don't remember, um, is too slow. Uh, so yeah, I want to get, uh, where, let's go over here, dimensional, a dimensional shard material thingy. And the thing with these, is that if you try and set up a dimension with this in it, it takes 15,000 RF per tick to run. So, and we are only making like 2,000 RF per tick. So yeah, you can imagine. Uh, so with this setup, I think we should be able to make close to 20,000 RF per tick. So yeah, let's get started. First, we're gonna need some plant interactors we're gonna need four of them to be exact uh, let's make that that we'll go let me quickly do this because uh, even though it's getting a lot harder I'm still trying to get all the foods so I have more health uh, but I'm not hungry yet yeah so Plant interactor, they take two plastic, one machine frame, redstone and gold gear. Let's see how much plastic I got. I think I have em enough. Yeah, I have a hundred. So now let's make about uh, three times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hoes. And we also need uh, eight gold gears, meaning we need 32 gold. We are running a bit low on gold, but that's fine. Compacto. Our compactor is still hardened because we don't need too many gears. And what, what else we're gonna need is the petrified fuel generators, which also require gold gears. We're gonna need about 20 of them, meaning we need 40 gold gears, meaning we need 160 gold, which we do not have. So let's start processing this and do the pulverizer. And I guess you can go there. And we also need machine frames. Now I wanna see how much indium I have. I have zero. And here too, and here too. Uh, I also have zero. Uh, however, I found I have found a way to get better scandium without having to use a uh, white antimatter. Uh, you can use the fission multi-block and split molybdenum into two scandium. And molybdenum is really easy to get because it's just limestone. So you can just go vein mine a bunch of my, uh, limestone. And um, yeah, that, uh, and then split it again into scandium. So let's grab all of these. Um, I think I'm a bit off on my calculations. We are gonna need a bit more scandium, but for now that should be it. Let me do this. And go uh, the gold. Okay, then take off the cinnabar. Do we have sand? Uh, we have sand. Where is it? Here. I really love that recipe because strange, strange sand is way easier to get. Like so. How? Why do I have gold back up there? Anyways, uh, we've made that. Are our gears ready? Our gears are ready. Let's see what else we are missing. Nothing apart from the indium. So let's also grab this. So if you search up indium. You can see it's number 49, and you, yes, you can get it with diorite, 
and cyan antimatter, or you can get it through the fission multi-block splitting californium, which californium is a really hard material to get through nuclear craft, and I'm not really about to get that. Uh, we can either use berkelium or einsteinium, which are also incredibly hard to get, near impossible. So how do you go, go about getting indium? Well, in this case, you can use this. All, uh, all elements can be created with a fusion multi-block. So in theory, we need to do some basic addition and combine the 40 element, zirconium, with the 9 element, uh, which is fluorine, for instance. Or we can find a way to make californium, for instance, 90 is thorium, which you have a bunch of, and 8 is... Uh, chemistry and 8 is oxygen which you also have a bunch of and yeah then I just need to do the math with how much californium you need so let me do that and I'll be right Alrighty. back so I figured out how much we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need about 384 californium meaning we need 384 thorium and oxygen uh, 384 oxygen is one two three this is 120 so we need a bunch more actually you know what i can just put it in the system which is going to show me a number like so and let's do oxygen now it's at 896 and we need 384 exactly that awesome so now we take oxygen how much stacks it's six stacks uh, we need a hopper and a chest, a few actually, let's do chest, I should have some, yes, sorry, and I also need some uh, reinforced pipes, reinforced servos, and then I also need some six stacks of thorium, uh, which I may have all turned into, yeah, that, so let's dissolve it, and we may need a bit more, so, and I may be out of thorium, if so, I need to go mining, which in, in that case I'm going to need the EFLN to have a bunch. Why do I have four chorus? Yep. And, oh, no, we have enough. That's five and that's six. So let me put these back. And now, this uh, machine takes 300 repetix, so it's considerably more expensive than that one. But yeah, that, and it's a bit slow. But that's alright. So you need to do this and extract, insert, and then we need to add uh, dal regular mode, no, 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 single mode, thorium and oxygen, oh, but it's also considerably faster, I thought it, it was like the other one, and it's making californium, now I just need to wait for that to finish, uh, in the meantime I think I'm just gonna put everything back, because it's going to take a while, scambium 2, item ducts, and um, one sec, and I want to see, well the side quest, the only thing we have left is kill the guy, and also kill the mobs, which gives us a growth crystal, and in here we just need to get drac uh, draconium, uh, you know what, let's, let's get that, if we do dra draconium, I should be able to get at least one ingot, uh, I need purple. I need some purple dye, which is lapis and red and red. Uh, we have red tulip. How can you get a red rose? Uh, a rose red from a rose bush, which we need to find in the wild or so. Oh, you can just use beetroots. And I have a bunch of these, like so. Sixty-four um, purple dye. Then we need to use some purple glowstone dust, and then we can use this to make draconium, if we have draconium dust. Which comes from the, ah, yeah, the loot fabricant. I know what we need to do. Uh, have I put it in already? No. I need to take off the ender dragon module, and so I also, which is, which takes uh, more power than we can make, but we can temporarily run it. Polymer clay. Oh, have I? I haven't even. Yeah. I was supposed to do that off camera, but I forgot. Do I have the end crystals? 
and the crystals I do. So what we can do is uh, we can go fight the dragon once more. So where is my deep planner? Uh, like so, that right there. I also need my shuriken, my sword. And what else? This time we have creative flight. I keep forgetting that, so it should be much easier. So uh, I'm gonna wait for this. To, well, let's actually go fight it now. I'll see you in the end. Yep, as you can see, we're here in the end, and we have creative flight. So let's go out some of the end crystal. This is how you resummon the dragon. In case you didn't know, like so. And all right, so as you can see, it's recreating the crystals. Uh, I don't know if that explosion is too loud. Either way, that's gonna get boring real soon. Let me do blacklist, blacklist add recent generic explosion add. All righty, so now it should now that all the crystals are back in place, and they also <laughs> recreated the cages around the crystals. So that's that's annoying. So let me back off. Oh, hey you. <laughs> he straight up defended the crystal. Wow. Uh, so let's also break you. Flight, come, bro. This dragon is annoying this time around. Let's do that. Too close. That. That. Yeah. Using creative flight is a bit of a of a joke in this fight. I think I'm gonna cut the fight and I'll see you when we're done. Yeah, it's definitely fair right here. Very fair. I'm basically a better dragon. And first dragon down. And this oh I forgot. Oh my god, I forgot to use the the glitch sword. Why do I do this to myself anyway? Let me. Uh, should I get the dragon egg? I didn't. Should I get the dragon egg? It ha It doesn't have any uses. Um, do I have a magnet on me? I don't. Ugh, this is annoying. Let's at least gather all the XP. Well, at our level, it doesn't even make a difference. Um, by the way, how you get these is uh, through the Enderman module. Unless you want to use another star. You can just use one pristine enderman magnet to get one of those and it's super easy. Now this is a puffer fish. Very smart choice, I know, but it's still considered a food. So let me Ender do I have Ender Ugh, I need two more Enderman matter. I did not expect to do that. Oops. So come on, how much poison? Oh, do I have a milk bucket? Wait, can I just kill myself? Let me remove these. No, I still have the angel window. Okay, what if I do that? Um, well, we have lava right here. So I'm just gonna... Well, we have as well. How difficult is it to die on a there respawn? I know I wasted some of my um, of my <laughs> Anubis memory, but yeah, that's all right. So let's put these back. Christine Enderman Mata. Oh, I actually need that Enderman Mata. And what else? Let's put the. I really want to assign the satchel on a hot. Oh, we already got one. So let's do the more category. Maybe satchel. Mm. Mm. Let me find it real quick. So apparently there's no hotkey. Uh, so which is a bit annoying, but I guess it's fine. Uh, is this done? Not quite. Yeah, as you can see, my last thing was there. And we just need one more. And uh, let's see how our Californian is doing still working and yeah we're about there six stacks yeah so let's go back up why am i gliding is it because of my ghostly shape this thing cool uh so is you done no 
she's that superior too like come on dude look at that hey baby chaco wow uh, anyways in the meantime i want to show you what i did for the plastic uh, i used a uh, tree fluid extractor then uh, acacia logs and i made uh, block placers from laser laser from um, uh, open blocks which are really cheap and I added about some chalk and some redstone and they're going at it I think this is cool that's why and this is where I have all my speed upgrades at the moment and stuff because my other machine didn't need it and I'm wondering if the plant interactors actually take um, as you call it uh, actually take speed upgrades also I also made the first one furnace because I am using furnaces was really getting annoying and it has uh, three auxiliary aug augments and it also has where am I? I used uh, the trivection chamber which is basically used to turn one food into two if you can smelt it and I used that to make fl uh, one flour into two bread and then uh, two bread and then you can uh, I could make the bums pineapple pizza a lot easier with two bread so in instead of taking 15 wheat it took only 8 wheat so yeah uh, come on like so and are you done? yep you're more than done and let's do that uh, technically you should save them the enderpearl matter but we have so many enderpearls down here we have 342 enderpearls so also in the meantime let's grab some of this here and start processing it down to indium and this time I want to make the same foolish mistake let's do that so rinse and repeat okay, so I brought down the dragon and now I'm not gonna make the same mistake and yes it did it counted it as two kills awesome now I just need to wait for all this to finish. The dragon scales aren't too useful because uh, it's a not unbreakable. The armor it gives, b not good. Get good, kid. Come on. Also, where's my magnet? I swear I had a magnet. Oops. I really should unbind that. Yeah, here's my magnet. And maybe. Like so, yeah, it also picked up the iron bars, eh? Oh, I put it away because it, uh, it's not, um, it's the same slot as my engine ring. Well, I can have my engine ring in my inventory, I guess. So, let's do that. Let's see really what the uses are. And, mm, yeah, apart from the apotheosis spawners, which you can only find in the dimension rf tool dimensions uh, it's practically useless so let's do this again out and i'll see you back at the base and this is our second dragon down and this one actually dropped draconium so i guess that's a way a painfully slow way of getting draconium from ingots uh yeah and we're done so let me just put all of these away uh, I also want to turn off my magnet after this is all said and done. Let's have it here. Let's put my ring back. And the dragon hearts. Uh, well, yeah, the only use for them is to make awakened draconium blocks. So, which we are going to need, I think, only two or three crafts of. I know for a fact we're not going to need a lot of them. We're basically just going to need them for the draconic fusion injectors. And if you want to make armor, then I guess you're also going to need that, or the Kamehameha uh, bow. Uh, yeah, we're not going to need any of these. We're, we are going to need Awakened Calls, yes. Uh, draco not ca not ca chaotic, though. Draconic tools are also necessary. And let's see what these take. This can only be upgraded to, dra to chaotic. So, I guess... Uh, the only thing we need is uh, two awakened cores for the extreme crafting table which take um, 10 ingots meaning we need uh, two crafts of the blocks one craft essentially so yeah 
Now let's get back to the base. Alrighty, so first I wanna check how the Californium and stuff's doing. It should be done. Yes, it is. And I can temporarily just put in the Dragon data model. Because uh, it does take a fair bit of power, as I stated previously. So let's do that. And yeah, I guess it's AFK time. Um, I'm wondering, well, let's first make a Draconium ingot. Uh, so, boom, that's complete. Oh, we need the ink. Uh, yeah. And I'm wondering in the meantime if I should make any of these. Because, well, elite plating, I know for a fact we can't do. Um, let me just think about it. Oh, so I'm encountering a bit of an issue. <coughs> this is running out of power, I figured out. Um, but this is full. That's because it limits the amount uh, of power that can be outputted to 1000 as per tick. So I think it's time to upgrade that if we do upgrade it. Uh, I guess I hardened for now. Well, I may already harden it actually too. I do. Uh, I think that's how you do it. And that, yeah, that makes it to 4000. So, so now it should be a lot faster. This has also run out of Acacia. Let's see how much plastic we have. Again, this is full. Uh, so yeah, no luck, unfortunately. So I'm just going to keep trying. Oh, and I also wanted to... Well, we haven't made the machines yet. We can. Uh, let me just grab some of these. I think we also have some here. Oh, no, we're done. Uh, yeah, uh, let's start uh, making the contraption to make more energy. So first I want to turn that indium into ingots, like so. Then I want tin. Uh, yes, 2014 gears is fine for now. And I'm out of sand. Not sandstone, sand. I said sand, come on. Um, like so. Uh, technically I could just, come on. I could just use uh, the uh, earthstone furnace to get this. Well, this way I'm also getting slag, which can be used for fighter grill. And eventually we're gonna be using fighter grill. Not to mention it can be used to make clay, which is also always annoying, but yeah. Uh, so let's grab some of you and some of you and let's make four machine frames. But we have no glass. So again, sand. Thankfully, it's through our, fur our furnace is fast. And I'm also a bit tired of having to make stack at a stack at a time at a time. So Finally, some sand. <clears throat> now, is this running out of power? It is, unfortunately. Well, we already got one. That's all we need. Uh, oh, you can actually make a ton of items. Dragon heart, dragon growth, and all that. So, now I should be able to... We need about eight of you. Right, four of me. Um, which also take uh, some of you. So, three, uh, nine, awesome. That's quest complete. And now we need to make nine of you. Uh, stone, iron blocks and diamonds are easy. Thing is, we need 36 draconium ingots before we can do anything else. Uh, not to mention that we need about uh, 20 more. So we need about 50 for some reason. Well, no. Uh, let's for now make focus on making 36 of you. But first, uh, since we, are, we did that, let's make some machine frames. Five is fine. Uh, also, tin. Do I have any tin? I don't actually. Uh, I, can. Uh, I do have some here. Here, only a stack though. Maybe I have some down here. And no, I do not. So I'm gonna have to go mining for tin. Uh, but I guess till then we can make one, two, three, four. <clears throat> and now let's let me show you what I'm actually trying to do. First, 
hard effort. Um, firstly, we need to place them this here, 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 and here. Uh, now, what this machine does, it basically collects the crop. It's a plant interactor. However, let me get my press and hammer. <coughs> I found an exploit with this machine that actually lets you harvest the crop indefinitely without having to break it and replace it. And how you do that? Well, first, let's make some of you. These are Signalum plated item ducts. And these item ducts are made with Signalum and Electrum and basically allow you to pass RF and uh, items to the same cable. So what I want to do is move this, this and this, like so, and place signal on item ducts. Uh, basically, power is connected and it's also connected to the machine. And as you can see, this is making, oh, I forgot about the sludge. This is making carrots without actually harvesting the carrots because it has power. For now, I'm going to turn this off. So move this one as well, this one, and this one. So then we need to place one of each on these, and also one in the middle. Uh, and I think, yeah, that's fine. Now we need servos. Servos. Uh, let me just make some more of you, if I could make iron nuggets. Uh, like so. Servos, and let's make a couple of you. So, what I do is, well, I'm going to use a filter for carrots, however, I don't think it's really necessary. And I'm going to whitelist carrots and extract and, yeah, whitelist carrots, extract, uh, like this, uh, extract. And like this. And the carrots should be going in here. And yep, that's right. Carrots from here are being extracted. Hopefully. Why aren't you being extracted? You are at least. Uh, maybe there's not enough space in the pipe. Could be that. Uh, anyway, carrots are being sent there. Uh, let me just remove you. And how is how does this still have power? Oh, it's connected. Yeah. And basically, we are producing. Oh, it's also working there. Beta carotene. Uh, the thing is, why would I be making beta carotene? What's the point? Well, you can actually turn beta carotene into hydrogen and carbon, and a lot of that actually. Forty carbon per beta carotene, and you get one beta carotene every five carrots. So now, um, I'm on the thick of the wiring. I can just use some item ducts to transport it into here. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get some item ducts. I also want to get some um, fluid ducts. This is fine. And some fluid trash can. Like so, also a retriever. So, uh, come on, let's make one. Retriever, and yes. Uh, because these pr these machines produce sewage, um, basically, if you keep them running, as you, as you see here, and if you let that build up, it's uh, just going to slow down the machines, and it's also going to make them require more power. Which, since we're making a power gen thingy, we don't want our machines to be using more power than we can make and stuff. Anyway, what we can do is add some of you down here, uh, like so, and then put the fluid trash can on top, and put a retriever here, ignored, and we should take out all of the sludge. Another problem solved. Well, I forgot the item ducts. Uh, item ducts, uh, let's make some more opaque item ducts. Sure. Uh, so now we have the beta carotene here. And since uh, I, I know from experience that one um, dissolver can't actually handle that much, we need to split it like so. And 
I could put use resonant servos, but I think that's fine. So let's also do round robin. Uh, round robin. And this one is producing hydrogen and carbon, and this one is producing hydrogen and carbon. Uh, now then, uh, we could use andirium servos and stuff, however, they are slow actually. You may think uh, that they're fast because it's andirium and stuff, but no, you need to wait 0.5 seconds per uh, interaction with the inventory. And uh, this makes more than a stack in 0.5 seconds. So we need something else. However, what can be faster than Ethereum? Well, if you do extra utilities, utils, and you do transfer node, transfer node, there's these transfer nodes items, which are really incredibly cheap to make. Let me just make stone slabs. And they actually are more, uh, they are faster than item that with the right upgrades, of course. So we made uh, some transfer nodes and some transfer pipes. And what we need to do, uh, also I know I could have made this a bit wider, <laughs> so it's not as cramped, uh, but I really like making efficient, uh, efficient setups like this, uh, quite cramped. So yeah, so you need to place a pipe there. And uh, yeah, I've already preset them to make carbon, uh, to turn carbon into coal, and you see what we'll do with the coal later. And it's also transferring the oxygen, the hydrogen. <coughs> so let's do, <coughs> let's do the same here. Let's put one here, one here, and it's making hydrogen, and it's also making coal. Now uh, I could, uh, do I have any updates on this? I could. Uh, transfer the, all the hydrogen into one drawer. Uh, yes, I definitely could. So I think I'm going to do that instead, like this. Mm, well, no, because it, uh, the longer the pipes line, it, the, um, depending on the length of the pipeline, it's actually slower. So I'm still going to keep them at two. However, we're going to need a bunch of emerald upgrades. And you may be wondering, oh, why just not use void upgrades? What's the hydrogen used for? Um, <coughs> well, you see, eventually we're gonna meet, we're gonna need to make this thing called singularities, and we're gonna need about forty-five of those. So starting and forty-five times five thousand is like uh, four, four. Yeah, it's basically a lot. Let me. It's roughly like 275,000 of something. So yeah, uh, we should really start preparing for that. So that should be fine. And now then, we actually need to do the part that will make them fast. Let's put everything back. Um, you need, we need actually, upgrades. We need the stack upgrades. Uh, this way, um, the item ducts, the item pipes can pull a stack at a time, which need uh, upgrade bases, which need pressure plates inside the resonator. Uh, also, uh, we have 64 GP, that should be fine, uh, but we can always make mill. Uh, we can always make the dragon egg mill, which uh, gives us 500 GP, uh, because we already have a dragon egg. <coughs> Is this done? Close enough. So, and let's make two stack upgrades, like so, like so, and let's put that there. And we're also going to need some speed upgrades, but that's I'm going to do that off camera. It's a similar process. You take an upgrade base and you just use gold and redstone blocks, and you can put up to four of these inside uh, here. Uh, granted, you can upgrade them to magical ones with all of this um, to make 16 speed upgrades, but that's too much effort to be honest, because this requires a lot of apples. Um, so now the final step is to actually use the coal and make it into coal blocks, because if you see here, coal blocks in the petrified fuel generator produce 800 fire per tick. 
but how are we gonna do that? Are we gonna use a crafter like down below? <coughs> no, we're gonna use a compact controller, which <coughs> which can uh, turn something into its compact version instantaneously. So, um, how should I do this? I guess this is fine. Uh, let's go out to item ducts. I could also upgrade the item ducts into impulse item ducts. I guess I can do this for these two two clones and plus I want to show you. So basically you go to up to your magma crucible <coughs> and you let it smelt. It's actually incredibly slow. So let's add one more. And then you take your fluid transposer. It has the XP inside it. One sec. <coughs> Let me empty it out. Okay, that's fine. And then let's place two item decks in here to make them fast. And I can also make them deary. Um, do I have any deary? I do. Did I show you how I got this? Well, basically, you need platinum, and to get platinum, uh, I just <coughs> I just use the chemical combiner. So let's make some servos here, like this, I guess, because we want to be extracting that coal ASAP. Uh, redstone is done, uh, glowstone is done, and one and two. We have two impulse item ducts. Eventually, we we want all of our item ducts to be like that. Uh, so yeah, put one here, one here, and extract. And it's making coal blocks. Extract. We are up already at 15 and growing. Now I want to monitor this. Yeah, it only it's only transporting eight items at a time. So now I want to activate that. Always active. And it's burning, I think, 80 hours per tick. Maybe that. Or 50 or something. Which is uh, not much for us. And we haven't actually made a backlog yet of um, beta carotene, but we should soon. So let me quickly make the speed upgrades because that's what's holding us back right now. And I'll see you in a bit when we have when we're ready for the next step of the process. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Antimatter Chemistry. How are you all doing today? I'm sorry I was laughing at my character. Uh, I'm doing fine. Um, it's been a while, however, I've been really busy with schoolwork, so here we are. Um, in today's episode, I set up this, which I will explain uh, in a bit what what it's for. But basically, I want to upgrade our power. Uh, also, I want to turn these back on because I had to activate, uh, deactivate them. Uh, let me do this. Uh, yeah. I basically want a bunch of dimensional shard or uh, dimensional shard because they're used in everything, uh, at least late game everything, uh, especially, well, actually mainly draconium. So, and draconium is used everywhere. So, I really want to find a way to get them uh, in, a massive, in massive quantities really fast and uh, just by and just hopping into this dimension, the ID 4 or 3 1, I don't remember, um, is too slow. Uh, so, yeah, I want to get a. Where, let's go in here. Dimensional. A dimensional shard material thingy. And the thing with these is that if you try and set up a dimension with this in it, it takes 15,000 RF per tick to run. So. And we are only making like 2,000 RF per tick. So yeah, you can imagine. Uh, so with this setup, I think we should be able to make close to 20,000 RF per tick. So yeah, let's get started. First, we're going to need some plant interactors. We're going to need four of them to be exact. Uh, let's make that, that. Ooh. Go. Let me quickly do this because uh, even though it's getting a lot harder, I'm still trying to get all the foods. 
so I have more health. Uh, but I'm not gonna use it. Yeah, so plant interactor, they take two plastic, one machine frame, redstone and gold gear. Let's see how much plastic I got. I think I have en enough. Yeah, I have a hundred. So now let's make about uh, three times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hoes. And we also need uh, eight gold gears, meaning we need 32 gold. We are running a bit low on gold, but that's fine. Compacto. Our compactor is still hardened because we don't need too many gears. And what, what else we're going to need is the petrified fuel generators, which also require gold gears. We're going to need about 20 of them, meaning we need 40 gold gears, meaning we need 160 gold, which we do not have. So let's start processing this and do the pulverizer and I guess you can go there and we also need machine frames now I want to see how much indium I have, I have zero and here too and here too uh, I also have zero uh, however I found I have found a way to get better scandium without having to use a white antimatter uh, you can use the fission multi-block and split molybdenum into two scandium and molybdenum is really easy to get because it's just limestone so you can just go vein mine a bunch of my, uh, limestone and um, yeah that is that and then split it again into scandium so let's grab all of this um i think i'm a bit off on my calculations we are gonna need a bit more scandium but for now that should be it let me do this and go uh, the gold okay then take off the cinnabar do we have sand uh we have sand where is it here i really love that recipe because strange strange sand is way easier to get like so how why do i have gold that's so blank anyways um we've made that are our gears ready our gears are ready Let's see what else we are missing. Nothing apart from the indium. So let's also grab this. So if you search up indium, you can see it's number 49. And you, yes, you can get it with diorite and cyan antimatter, or you can get it through the fission multi-block splitting californium which californium is a really hard material to get through nuclear craft and I'm not really about to get that. Uh, we can either use Berkelium or Einsteinium which are also incredibly hard to get, near impossible. So how do you get, go about getting indium? Well in this case you can use this. All, uh, all elements can be created with a fusion multi-block. So in theory we need to do some basic addition and combine the 40 element, zirconium, with the 9 element uh, which is fluorine for instance. Or we can find a way to make Californium, for instance, 90 is Thorium, which you have a bunch of, and 8 is uh, up high chemistry, and 8 is Oxygen, which you also have a bunch of. And yeah, then I just need to do the maths with how much Californium you need. So, let me do that and I'll be right back. 